What if we just found out your daughters were dead? And you weren't there. You make me feel so Sexy time, huh? Out here in the rain and the cold. Well, it's not the perfect place, dude, but... I forgot your name. I'm sure you will you still remember me and mine. A son? I do. Yeah, two dollars. Huh? Two girls. girls, okay. Same as I do. What age? Oh, is it mommy? It's mommy. It snowed the day my wife died. Talk with an accent, dude. Her heart gave yeah, I do too. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. Oh. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. She the didn't pass in her sleep. It covered her grave. We erased it. Like she she shot herself all. point blank I'm in the head, sorry dude. For your loss. Thank you. I've tried to focus on our kids, but the past, it always seems to find you. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from harm, but we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt and Greg's dead, it. I could really use your help. Your friend Pete told me all about Norma. About what happened. If she finds us, we wouldn't stand a chance. But you seem like someone who can hold their own. Sam said you could help me. If you do that, I'll give you guys a hand. Anything. Whatever you need. Hmm, let me think about that, huh? Children shouldn't have to see this. Yeah, you should clean up your mess, dude. Never turned into one of these things. Did Your lawn is a mess. Are those, whatever they are. He's at peace now. <gasps> Thank God. Really, you open the gate for that? Just throw it over, dude. Close the freaking gate. I... I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? You motherfucker. And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. How would you feel? Your kids need you to stay strong. You... You're right. I'm, all I'm right. always right. <laughs> I think Norma's here. Don't need to shut the gate, dude. Peekaboo. Oh, here we go. Now your dad's dead at too. <laughs> oh, no, that's not funny. Got it trapped like a rat now. Find her! Go for it, Michelle. Where are you? Let's 
do this correct now. Like so. Shoot the fucker. Thank you. You be quiet now, just bleed out. Bleed out. Oh damn, he had a... I wasn't fucking watching you, fucker had a gun. I wanted to let it bleed out. Okay, let's do this again, huh? So we have to shoot you point blank in the face with a shotgun. That's not gonna be pretty. What we'll do what we'll have to do. But Randall will hear us and he will have some hostages, I suppose. Now let him bleed out. Oh, whoa. baby. Oh, he's a bad guy, huh? anything can do this hit you in the head with a shovel motherfucker again and again I'll take him out. Mm, you have a headache? Oh, my arm. Walk him in. Oh yeah, baby. Motherfucker. You all right? Not dead yet. <laughs> you. Dislocated shoulder, I'll pop it in. Oh man. Ouch. Now we're gonna have some fun, huh? Close the gate. Michonne, I think you had something to say. Pretty, Got yeah. A golden goose. Think I'm Tighten it a bit. I think he's gonna get loose. Jesus! Whoa! You don't mess around. <laughs> I like that. Does Norma know we're here? She doesn't even know I'm here. Otherwise, you'd be hearing an Abley knock on your door right about now. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Talk to her, Michonne. Don't make the same mistake again. Yeah. I got a few words for her. Hello, Norma. Hey, Norma. How's it being? Michelle. How's it hanging? Where's my brother? Go on. Tell her. Don't spare any of the gory details. You're talking to me, not him. Don't be smart with me, Michelle. That wasn't what I asked. I want the truth on this. You hear me? Did you hurt him? 
so much as breathed on my brother, I'll find you and make what happened on the ferry look like a goddamn picnic! I did. Know any good surgeons? I want to look into that. <laughs> Bitch! I will kill you myself! I don't think so, okay. Norma. You're okay, too fat. Okay, okay. Let's wind this down a bit. If you've had his walkie-talkie the whole time, then you already know. We heard the shots. We know where you are. But if you let Randall go, maybe we nope. can all walk away. Randall is the only family I have. And I'm not leaving him behind. No way in hell I'm giving your brother back. There you not go. after all the shit he's done. This little game you're playing, I don't fucking like it. Nah, it's your game, we'll Norma. It's your own game. Okay, see you soon, Norma. Bye. You know, this alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. Nah, let's end it now. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. And then Sam's and yours. Last but not least, those kitties too. I saw their little heads in the window. Kids, you know their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt like a rotted pumpkin. I'm not letting you hurt anyone. Well. Not until Norma gets here and I skip bare ass free out the front gate. And that will happen. Michonne. Hey now. Here we got an old friend uh, you two look paying like us a visit. Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. Got a big hole there now. Is that true? <laughs> Please tell me he's fucking with us. Randall murdered your dad, Sam. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just giving it straightforward hey. to everybody. If he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First good question asked all night. Michonne's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. He keeps opening his mouth. He'll be dead soon. We should do it right fucking now. All she wants is her brother back. That's it. We're out of the equation. You need to kill him, or I will. Can you do so, Sam? Get your revenge, baby. Sam, wait! No matter what I say, you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway. I know you've already made up your mind. Well, <laughs> I ain't I the bell of the bar. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. God damn, now I'm doubting. You like killing. And you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got the big skin. I'm sure you'd like to see me dead, too. If it's in the cards. Or maybe. Maybe you think you can rise above all that. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. Then you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. That's how it is now. Nothing we can do to change it. Preaching the fucking choir. This 
This world, your kids are dying in Michelle. <gasps> or dying. Or are in that walking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about that. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't there. Oh, crap. We all have our demons, honey. Some are on the inside. Some are sitting right in front of us, wondering what kind of a mother brings a child into this mess of world. Ain't no blue skies for them anymore. Ah, uh, fuck this, dude. Fuck. Fucking kill that dude. Well, thanks for watching everybody. We'll see how this turns out, so hope you enjoyed. See y'all next time. Bye bye. I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean. Nasty. You want to believe all lives and all deaths have a purpose. Believe me, they don't. It's true. Things always fall apart. But we're the ones who bring them down. Was one of the minority who directly spoke to Norma. All of a lot of people picked up the phone. We stopped Pete. Yeah. What did you do to Randall? Well, we were with the majority. We bashed in his head. So, yeah. Haha. <laughs> so the ending of episode two. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. Bye bye.